Okay, I'm going to do a, uh, a really quick video here on uh, wiping down the car. Um, this car is actually very well kept and it's also fairly new. Uh, and I see a lot of videos on YouTube on people detailing their cars or using a detail spray on a car. And a lot of the comments will simply say, hey, that car is uh, clean and ready, why don't you get a dirty car? Well, there is actually a lot of residue on the car, and I'll show you the, uh, the rag in a moment. Um, I, for many years, I don't know, seven, eight years, have been using uh, you know, Gary Deaton's uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice. Uh, it's on uh, detailjuice.com, and uh, it's perhaps the most versatile product. It's actually a very thick polymer. Uh, product that uh, you have to dilute with water which is a good thing uh, you use two and a half ounces of of the product per gallon of water so I mix it up in uh, you know in a bottle and it uh, it looks like water with a little bit of a, a pinkish hue to it uh, when you get done but it's the most versatile product on the market. So uh, if you're looking for a nice detail spray, one that doesn't leave streaks, uh, one that you could use on the exterior, interior, you could use on the windows, uh, you could use it on the tires. It's a really nice uh, synthetic polymer. I recommend you get this, but there's plenty of detail sprays out there. Uh, for me, most of them streak. Uh, I'm very picky uh, about the detail spray and the finish that I leave behind for my customers, so I don't uh, tend to use many other products but but there are others on the market that uh, you can go ahead and and test and experiment with so so I uh, the way I do this is I spray the uh, microfiber towel with one or two sprays and then I go ahead and and uh, spray the surface uh, one of the big mistakes is using too much product in which case you leave a lot of streaks behind um, so you don't want to you don't want to coat the surface so much um, and uh, what microfiber towel you use, that's up to you. Uh, I'm not, uh, I've gone through many years of using many different towels and spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on towels to only to really find out in the end that they're all about the same. So uh, these are probably from one of the, the bigger uh, Costco or Sam's Club. Uh, so go ahead, uh, spray it a couple times. You'll see this, this mist is extremely fine. And I'll just spray it down like that. And I'll wipe it off. Uh, again, this uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice is, is a pretty remarkable product. It's not going to leave streaks. I've used it repeatedly on black cars. It's not going to cause any swirling in your paint any more than, than anything else on the market. As a matter of fact, it'll, it'll be less. Now, if you, if you do get some streaks, you know, just uh, turn the towel over and lightly wipe it down. Look, here's the deal. Trying to make the car look nice. You don't want to add a lot of pressure when you do this. You're not trying to get off, you know, dirt that's uh, in the pores of the paint. Um, in this particular case, there's not, you know, mud on the car. Um, you, use uh, common sense. You know, if there's there's chunks of mud on your car, you probably don't want to use a uh, a detail spray. I'm going to go ahead and put it down here for a moment and show you. Uh, Again, seeing the dirt on the car is really challenging. I'm not going to attempt to do that. I'm just going to wipe off this section. And uh, here you can probably better see the uh, the mist that this particular spray bottle leaves. It's extremely fine. One of the things you can do, uh, this uh, Infinite Use Detail Juice, you know, I don't know how uh, true it is, but it's supposed to have this uh, rapid encapsulation technology, they call it. Uh, honestly, I think what happens is you spray it on the car and uh, the dirt just gets pulled up into the liquid and then you just like wipe the liquid away but the same thing happens if you use water so I'm not going to get caught up in the hype of the technology uh, the results speak for themselves so you know in this particular case these areas behind the wheels uh, tend to get a lot of grime again there is actually quite a bit of dirt down here uh, you don't really want to wipe it back and forth over and over um, that's, that's not good practice uh, what you should really do is start in one, one portion and go in a certain direction. So there's less dirt back here than there is up here. So I'm going to start at the back side and just go forward with the, uh, with the microfiber towel. And I'm just going to do it once. Again, you're not pushing hard. You're just wiping off the product. It's already done its job. 
and there you can see the result. I mean, it's 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 doing its thing. Uh, if you feel like now that it's clean and you want to just make sure that you're not going to have any any sort of residue behind, just go ahead and, and wipe it again. Uh, uh, I'm applying almost no pressure on the car. I'm just uh, trying to get get as much off as I can. Now, um, am I going to take this side of the towel and put it back on the car? Well, you know what? There's, there's, you know, you can look at the towel. There's some, some bigger particles in there. It's probably not a best practice to do it. So, you know, use the clean side of the towel. Uh, if you fold the towel into eighths or quarters, rather, and you have eight sides, uh, go ahead and do that. You know, there's still a little more residue, but, but uh, here you can see, you know, the, this is the part behind the wheel well, um, and that's all it takes. Uh, there's not a rocket science to it. Simple product, simple process, and um, in the end it takes maybe 10 minutes to wipe down the whole car. You can do it every other day if you want. You can do it every night if you want. Uh, of course, the least you touch the paint, the better. But, uh, you know, if you get well versed in, in polishing out paint, then, then uh, you can just do it every night. Um, depends on how nice you want your car to look. And in the end, it's always adding down a protection of, of polymer onto the paint, so it protects it well, and the, the rain will bead well, and uh, the coating, the paint coating, will last you uh, 15, 20, 30, 40 years uh, without problem, as long as you take care of it. So that's the process. It's very simple. I know there's a lot more videos on YouTube on detailing cars with detail spray. Uh, I just want to leave you with the impression that it's extremely simple, and uh, you know you can use Meguiar's Instant Detailer. Uh, Mothers makes a pretty good detail product. Surf City Garage makes an excellent one. Uh, their hot rod detail spray uh, is very good. Um, just pick a product you like. You know, I think uh, use a product you like and use it often and um, and be proud of your results. So that's all I have. In the end, the uh, surface looks really good. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.